Los Angeles is a city that swallows you whole. It's almost constantly sunny, perennially laid back, and enjoys an enviable location sandwiched between mountain and ocean. LA may have risen to fame on the back of the film industry, but that's not the only reason why the city's become the creative capital of the United States. There are more artists, actors, writers and musicians living and working in LA than any other city in the country. Look beyond the Hollywood bubble and you'll find infinite options that the city has to offer. In the Monocle Travel Guide to Los Angeles, we invite you to explore the city as a local and uncover everything from our favourite independent retailers and coziest restaurants to the best places to go for a bike ride. Here are some of our top tips from the culture pages to help you cut through the dizzying range of indie cinemas, bookshops and art galleries. The city may never acquire the sweeping collections of historic art that the old world Europeans possess, but it is the prime market for contemporary art. One of the latest additions to the expanding arts district is Hauser, Wirt and Schimmel. The Swiss gallery transformed what was once a dusty flour mill into the sixth branch of its international network. Creative space and Seldorf architects brought new life to the building without erasing its history. In addition to displaying the work of more than 60 artists, including Maria Lasnig and Isa Gensken, the space hosts public talks, book launches, film screenings and craft workshops. The first Hollywood film was made in 1910, but the industry remains one of the state's most profitable exports. For a bit of old-school glamour, head to spectacular Cinerama Dome, dating back to the 1960s. This Los Angeles historic cultural monument is now part of Arclight, the US cinema chain that doesn't believe in commercials. Many of the films lighting up its 15 screens were shot at studios just a short drive away. From headlining blockbusters to limited releases, the range of programming at the cinema complex is as engaging as it is varied. What would LA be without its generous philanthropists? The late oil magnate J. Paul Getty began amassing his treasures in the 1930s. Collections spanning from ancient Greek ceramics to landmark paintings is still growing and now occupies two buildings on the breezy fringes of the City of Angels. The Roman style Getty Villa and Pacific Palisades displays ancient artifacts and monumental statues, where the Getty Center is home to decorative arts, impressionist pieces, and modern sculpture. And outside sits the ever changing Central Garden by California born artist Robert Irwin. LA is a monster of a city and our guide helps you to navigate around this sprawling metropolis. Explore the remarkably varied neighbourhoods from fashionable Silver Lake to regenerating downtown. Follow the lead of our guide and meet fresh designers, daring hoteliers and top eateries. Published by Gestalt and the Monocle Guide to Los Angeles is the latest addition to our travel guide series. Cities are fun. Let's explore. <laughs>